all doing? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely weekend. I am currently waiting out in the tap room because it's a little bit wet outside. It's been very April showers today here. It's not quite April, it's nearly. Um, but we have had all weathers. <laughs> we've had blue skies, sunshine, we've had cold winds, we've had hail, we've had rain, we've had thunder. We had a massive crash of thunder earlier. Um, yeah, and it comes around so quickly. Like one minute it's blue skies and you're like, perfect, going right. And then 10 minutes later, it's pelting and you're down. You're like, mm, okay, wait a second. Um, lots of fun and games with the weather. So you'll have already seen what this video is about. It is about riding your corners properly and making sure you use them because there can be so many benefits, especially when it comes to dressage, if you ride your corners properly. And I am pretty bad for sometimes forgetting the importance of them, especially when I'm training at home, you know, and I'm using my arena and probably because it's a 30 by 30. Sometimes I do just sort of skip the corners. And by doing that, I kind of get out of the practice of making sure I use them properly. And the horse gets out of practice as well. So I've got about four exercises which can really help get your horse used to going into the corners more and just kind of remind you, fine tune yourself to using your corners better. And there are so many benefits for actually using them. One they make the arena feel bigger. If you use your corners properly, your dressage arena always feels that little bit bigger. You should use them to help you set up for the next movement, especially if you're doing something like a medium trot across the diagonal or a medium canter down the long side. Using your corner efficiently before that movement comes up is gonna help you gain those extra marks. The corner's a perfect place to get your horse to just engage their hind end a little bit more, help resupple them if they've gone a little bit tight in their frame. The corner is like the perfect place to kind of have a little deep breath and kind of just reset your horse especially if you're having a few issues in the arena with them maybe they're a bit tense or a bit spooky i find you'd be surprised how much you can get done in a corner in a dressage test so i'm going to show you these exercises like i say there are so many benefits to riding your corners properly they're obviously going to help you be more accurate in your dressage test as well um so come along with me and i'm hoping looking a bit brighter out there so i think we might be all right i prefer to use poles for this exercise i just find that it's closer to an arena board and also if you work along the fence line horses tend to cling against it they use it a bit of a crutch and they don't carry themselves as well so we are starting off with a really simple exercise and that is to simply ride in and out of the corner now it seems a real basic one i know but actually just spending the time teaching your horse to walk in and out of the corner to listen to get confident with doing this is really important and when this becomes a regular in your training your horse just accepts that this is what happens and then when you come to doing a dressage test they're so used to going in and out of their corners all the time in training that it becomes a habit and you barely have to think about it so it's good for horse and rider I would say now I like adding transitions in as well because if your horse is easily distracted or perhaps doesn't really get into the corner very well I think adding a transition in can just give them something to focus on, get them listening to you, but also help you get them into the corner a little bit more. And I can't tell you how doing something as simple as just riding in and out of the corner really improves your horse's rhythm. It really gets them to step under a little bit more as they come through that corner, especially with the inside hind leg. It's a great way to add a half halt. This happens quite a lot with the camera falling over. It was a really windy day and then Coop just did a bit of his own thing trotting around the arena. He does that quite often. Next exercise was to do a 10 meter circle in the corner. Now this often appears in dressage tests from novice upwards. So it's a good thing to practice anyway. But the good thing about doing it in the corner is it's helping you create the right shape for your horse when they're going through the corner. Now, obviously, you won't go as deep when you're on a 10 meter circle, but you're still working on your horse, being used to getting a little bit more into the corner, the right shape. And it's great for their suppleness. You can again do this in walk, trot or canter. It's also a great way to make remind the rider to use their outside leg and to make sure that the horse doesn't drift through that outside shoulder, which is so easily done. So again, I found this was a really good exercise to get me a little thinking a little bit quicker and making sure that I wasn't sort of blocking too much with the inside hand that I was giving with the outside rein. 
Next up is lateral work into the corner. So I used leg yield and shoulder in for this exercise. Now, the lovely thing about using shoulder in is it's a great way to really get your horse taking a little bit more weight behind. And it also makes a beautiful shape through the corner. You can ride your horse quite a bit deeper into the corner when you're riding them in shoulder in. And then I started doing a little bit of leg yield to the corner. Again, this really helps you get quite deep into the corner. It creates a lovely shape through your horse. So it's great for their suppleness, great for getting them to take a little bit more weight behind and also as a rider you have to really concentrate on making sure the horse doesn't drift too much that you don't lose them through the outside shoulder the next exercise was probably my favorite out of all of them and this was the one that worked the best for corporal if your horse does have a habit of falling in when you're riding through the corner try riding around the outside of your corner poles this way they cannot fall in and it is an amazing exercise for really getting your horse to really sit on their hindquarters, really step through and under. The amount of self-carriage corporal, there goes my phone again, I did say it happened a lot through this exercise. The amount of self-carriage corporal got by just doing this simple exercise was crazy. Now as a rider you have to really concentrate on not losing them through the outside shoulder when you're doing it then. Then I moved on to transitions within the pace. So simply going back to riding through the corner, but playing around with the walk, trot and canter. So sometimes coming into the corner with a bit more power in the trot, sometimes coming in with a little bit more collection. And then we played around with perhaps going into a medium trot or going into a medium canter. Now, the important thing here is to not only be doing it away from the corner, but also going into the corner. And I have to say with Corporal, I did struggle a little bit because when I came into the corner in quite a forward canter and then sat tall and asked him to come back, he slightly ignored me. Um, so plenty to work on. Morning guys, it is the next day. I've just come on to finish the vlog. First up though, if we go out, the sun is out, we've got blue skies. What a lovely Sunday morning it is, making me very happy. I am planning some bread baking, some photography, some tack cleaning, and a really long hand graze for all the horses. I say all the horses, I've only got two <laughs> for the two horses. But I wanted to finish this vlog. I really enjoyed editing those exercises last night and I was amazed at just how much Coop improved throughout the session. And for anyone that doesn't follow my channel, Corp has not been schooled very much over the last two or three months. I mean, really, probably only a three or four times maximum. That was the first time in a while I really felt him be a bit more up together. And such a simple exercise of just working on your corners had such a massive impact in the way he went. And he felt brilliant after. I came away so happy and I thought, gosh, it just reminds me that, you know, the simple, basic parts of your schooling still need you to focus on it. And, you know, it doesn't matter what level you're at. Riding your corners properly is very important. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you again soon.